What the Macho Center means to me is a place to, that gives you hope, a place that actually gives you a chance to be who you are. Um, if it wasn't for the Macho Center, I would have embraced my homosexuality and also have people understand who I am as a person. That has helped me tremendously to the point now where I can walk down the street and feel comfortable in my own skin. That's one of the things that, that I embrace as an individual. And that's really what the big message is. That's all it is, is embracing who you are. Well, it's been really uh, great for me because when I came here about five years ago, I was kind of in a bad place. And in that period of time, I've managed to uh, write two novels that have been published. And uh, I have recently come out as a transgender person. And I think that, that a lot of that is the fact that I've had a lot of help with, uh, with counseling here at Montrose City, which uh, just kind of helped me find myself. It was really nice to finally figure out who I really am. I come um, almost every Monday for yoga and I have found it to be really amazingly helpful and also it's so nice to be in a space where the community is so welcoming and there's no body shaming here. My name is Jean. We bring you greetings from the Montreux Center scene. We're all here to share and care, collaborate, unite, and do the things we can to help one another. Doesn't matter whether it's a sister or a brother. Here at the Montreux Center, we all have fun. And right now, I'm gone and on. Thank you for letting me share. Um, to start with, I had a really nice, wonderful life. I went from a wonderful job making good money, everything was absolutely tip-top, to having no job at all, no money at all, and absolutely being just devastated by the whole process. A friend of mine told me, I'm going to set you up for some counseling at Montreal uh, Center. And I said, okay. So she sent me over here, and I got hooked up with a series of different people, uh, all of which have been top-notch. Every one of them is great and things are probably better, all things considered now, than they were then. And that's the kind of thing that happens here at Montreal Center. No matter who you are, no matter what your problem, no matter what your situation, and that's why I think that this is the greatest organization in the city of Houston. I love them to death. I would do anything in the world for them. I want the world to know how much of a great benefit the center can be for people that are in a bad situation through no fault of their own. This center is actually such an incredible resource for our community. I, I think literally it saves lives. Great therapists and volunteers here. There's no place else in the community that you can find the resources and the care and kindness that you will find here at the Metro Center. I was asked, what does the Metro Center mean to me? It means many things to me because when I'm in a dark place in my life, they guide me to a positive way of thinking and they're very, very resourceful in helping me get that, the treatment and financial aid that I need to make my life a better life. And for me, it's like, they're like a second family because the people that I've met there are so caring and I love being around them. They make me feel very comfortable when I'm there. That's just what the Montreal Center means to me.